Hey guys, welcome back to my hair review and lifestyle channel. My name is Agape, like the lab, and today I'm going to be talking about Julie and the Phantoms. I'm going to be doing a review of the show. I watched the show in like a couple of hours. I binged it. Um, it's on Netflix. Um, it's so funny because I was like telling myself, I saw it on Netflix. It had come out on the 10th of September. And I saw it on Netflix around like October time and I was like oh my word no the show is a bit too like young for me I was like no no I kept prolonging watching the series right but then one night one of my friends was talking about it and I was like ja you watch it too um and she was just like just watch it and I'm like okay and I watched it and I was like I watched it all in one night I just I was mesmerized um I think it's one of the best like Netflix originals that has come out this year like hands down I think I can say that like with my chest hands down I think it's one of the best Netflix originals that I've seen um so yeah today I'm going to be doing a review of it so if you want to continue on watching I think you should I first want to let you guys know when I say like I proper became entrenched within the world that is Julia and the Phantoms I think I do this for all series or like things that I really really enjoy like I go on like a binge not only of the series but also of like cast interviews like if, if i'm going to really truly get into a series and get and get behind it and support it and stuff i want to know that the people that i'm supporting are like genuinely nice genuine nice like cool people and so i literally i think i watched all of the interviews as well um all of the like random stuff um some instagram lives guys i didn't even have the time but i still did it like come on now but anyway um yeah and i girl yeah so that that like i feel like that speaks for itself and speaks for how like i really i really really enjoyed the show and i was pleasantly pleasantly surprised okay guys so i'm going to start off first um with the first character of the show i'm looking down because i just wrote like little things that i wanted to talk about uh within the show so my first character is before i actually speak about madison um the main character this is funny the main character that i think of the show is did it drum roll please the music so you might be thinking chill that any character but i truly think the music like the music was its own persona i think the music was so incredible that's the thing that actually got me into the show because i thought the the premise of the show i thought it was quite cute and i i'm literally i'm about to embark on adulthood so i was like i don't know if this is like my age like it's quite it's quite young um it's like a teen raw it's like a teen show but it's quite like towards the younger side of the teen side right and then that actually stood with me right was the music so i was at college and i was and i i was on youtube um and i stumbled on a clip um of julie singing i think she was singing age of great um running from the yeah running from the past tripping on the now like she was singing age of great <laughs> once i heard that song i was like this ain't a regular regular show like this music is really is really nice that was the first song that i heard and i was like what what and then when i found out kenny ortega was involved within the show i was like you know what that makes sense like that actually makes sense because it was so it was literally the music has its persona of its own and when you think of Ken Ortega's work you think of high school musical one two three you think of descendants like come on now descendants like descendant need I say more so when I found out that Kenny Ortega was a part of the show I was like yeah I'm watching it um I think the music is incredible currently my favorite songs um, I might just do a video ranking them I don't know um like I feel like it changes every now and then though um Mm. age of great has to be one of my favorites even though it's like overrated like they, they it's not overrated but they usually say like the bigger songs are overrated um that's literally the song that i was listening to like two minutes ago i don't know if you guys can see like i was literally li listening to age of great <laughs> um it's so funny it's like recently played julia and the phantoms julia and the phantoms uh, guys i i told you i have a problem um wait guys let me find the song um yeah stand tall the only reason why stand tall is like incredible to me is because when the sh when it's happening in the show and then luke is trying to buzz in and then he says i'm going out of my mind like exactly on the spot i 
I was just like, yeah, no, this is over. Like, <laughs> this is over. The show is too good. But anyway, I think the music is the main character. Like, the music takes its life on its own. It's without, like, throughout the whole show, you don't, you don't see a dip in the quality. I just think it's incredible. Um, and my first character is Julie Molina. So Julie is the main character. Um, I'm not gonna. Um, I feel like this is a spoiler. I do want to say it's going to be a spoiler, but it's a review. So I'm going to be reviewing the show, right? Um, Julie is the main character. Um, her mom had passed away. And so she she's just like a bit nervous to start music. And she's the one who sees the ghost, right? Um, and joins the band. And what I do want to say about Julie and more to um, praise Madison Reyes, who plays Julie, right? Is she really stood her ground? I don't know why, but like usually I don't resonate with main characters. Like it's funny, it's like oh the main character, but some usually a lot of people don't like the main character. Sometimes everybody else is a bit more interesting. But I loved Madison's um, authentic and rather vulnerable portrayal of Julie. I think this show was a show previously was a was a from a like a Portuguese show I think, um, but I was really surprised with how. Um, just open and how vulnerable and how I was really able to love Julie like usually main characters I'm like mm, I don't know about you like I don't know how I feel about you um, like once main characters get along even if it's in like love interest like um, like I like John Ambrose more than I like Laura Jean like you see what I mean so it through the decisions that the main characters often make sometimes they can be quite questionable but i love julie's character i think she really stood her ground um the show surprised me in its in its like tackle on like mental health and just like anxiety and just like going through a tough time there was a deleted scene that was um julie talking to flynn and she was like i tried like i gave it a shot i tried for you i tried for me but i really just can't play like i tried for my mom even but i can't and that scene even though it was deleted um which you guys should watch um the netflix posted a clip on it i just thought julie's portrayal she was just she was very much herself even when she was starting to have feelings for um luke when she first figured it out she was she was even trying to like deny the feelings that she had because was like child this is a ghost like this is a ghost um but i just i was just obsessed and i just loved julie's portrayal julie got julie truly went through a lot but i really think that the way in which she handled certain situations the dog is bark in the way in which she handled certain situations like i commend her like like now i stand madison reyes and madison um i truly think like I'm so happy for her and I'm so happy to watch her go through this journey of like navigating this newfound success. Um, I think she honestly deserves it. Like she deserves it 100%. The next character I want to talk about is Flynn because of her close relationship with Julie. I think she was worth mentioning next. Um, I really, really love this friendship between the two. Um, like I was going to say more Disney, but like they have this, this like thing of like there's always like these two best friends but in but in this show i really got to see that and i really got to to see the way that flynn um supports julie and just supports her endeavors and sometimes doesn't believe her because it's like i need evidence but like she really does support her and she really is her best friend she was even the one that says i think i um because luke was trying to name the bo the band after it's like oh you're joining our band and flynn's like no guys i think you're joining her one ben? um actually i think you're joining her band and period i think you're joining her band um i just she's one of my favorite characters the quick wittedness the humor that came from flynn the vivacious um personas that you would just tap into i commend jada because jada did such a great portrayal of the character like one of my favorite lines from the show is damn wait she was like boy when you when you make up a world you sure do live in it like <laughs> reggie needs some space to rock out and he feels kind of weird walking through you <laughs> boy when you create a world you really live in it i think that line um from flynn was just so funny when she was when she was talking to julia about like believing in ghosts because julia was like they're right here and it's like what <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> no one's here <laughs> guys we're getting serious so next i'm going to be talking about the dudes i'm going to be talking about luke alex and reggie um absolutely fell in love with these guys 
absolutely fell in love with the characters i think they're so different it offers something so unique because they're so different um and we start off the way that we start the show off i think just made it I, I think it just made the show um the the irony of such a tragedy and because there's so much irony you find it you find it amusing like luke is like guys this is this is the this this night is gonna change everything kind of deed in the worst way <laughs> um absolutely you have we can't talk about luke and not mention um the relationship but i first want to get through the characters um luke's drive for music is something that that is so special to see um and just his his love for songwriting and his like his commitment to the craft is something that i really did appreciate and i could feel it coming i could feel it oozing off the screen like his excitement i was like this and i after watching interviews i was like this is like this was genuine this was something that's so sincere and i love seeing that like you acted your butt off because i believed you like i was like heck let's let's get you songwriting because i really really did believe the portrayal i thought it was excellent like i thought it was so so beautiful it was so interesting with alex's character because he came off as someone who was who was a bit anxious uh overthinking things which i was like that it's like we've been crying for 25 years like what has happened in this past 25 years i really appreciate that like sensible character but also having somebody to lean on like um i'm gonna say willy willy right willy yeah 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 having someone to lean on um just having that like just being a bit curious curious um i could definitely identify with that and i could see myself in that uh because i feel like that's also something that i do i wouldn't i'd be like wow cool we're living but like how did we even get here how do we end up here no but like how did we end up here um and so i was really i really found myself being able to identify with alex's character and also just the the romantic interest that alex had with willie i thought that was so like number one so important but just it was so uh, willie's booby stewart so like anybody can anybody with booby stewart makes sense like let's be honest about it anybody with <laughs> he he's just he's just absolutely gorgeous um but i thought the relationship was i really i i really i thought it was really cute and just the friendship and him really going like explaining this new world to to alex and showing him around and everything i thought that was amazing um last but not least we have reggie 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 not only provides um comedic effect and like his lineness and the relationship that reggie has with julie's dad and always talking to him he not only does that but what i really loved after watching the performances back was reggie's chemistry when he was playing the bass i i was actually quite captivated you would think to look to luke or to look to madison but to me i care, i was looking at reggie and just when he would he would be the one to actually like notice i would be the first one to notice the chemistry that was growing between luke and maddie um luke, i can't say luke and maddie between luke and julie um he'd be the one to like to kind of see it but then he would also just like i feel like he would bring the atmosphere and bring the vibe towards when they were playing he wasn't too serious but he would he would let you know like what's down and come on now anybody who who delivers the 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 line about questioning deep dish and thinking if it's about pizza if if somebody says that they're gonna be they're gonna be someone that i i'm obsessed with like forever i think reggie might be one of my favorite characters um just for how sweet and sincere he is um he doesn't have to do too much but i know that like that's that's one of my faves like point blank period period so those are like my main characters obviously the five of them so um julie flynn and the guys but one what i wanted what i do want to talk about is wanting to talk about um season two and what i want to expect and that that's when i'll mention all the other characters um and what i want to see more of in season two so obviously i if you're here now and you haven't seen the show then like major spoilers but obviously now with the second season we see that um we see that julie and julie can touch the the phantoms i'm saying the phantoms julie can touch them so julie can touch um luke alex and reggie right so now like that begs the question so 
if, if she is the only one who can touch them can other people touch them can other people see what can happen so i'm curious to see where like where the writers go with that i'm saying we're gonna get a season two because we're getting a season two guys i'm curious to see where the writers are going to take that situation um especially when it comes to the chemistry that they have one thing i do want to say is that obviously like the age difference that's a thing that we know um like the the, the actors who play them there's an age difference right and so i don't think they would uh, make them kiss pa maybe in season two i don't think they'd do that so maybe season three when when madison when the character who plays julie madison when she turns 18 maybe i can see a kiss right but what i really appreciated about the show and i really fell in love with the show was that they had chemistry but it was through the mu it was a lot of it came through the music like when you start to notice that julie sort of likes luke or when luke likes Lu julie for me it was when they were singing um what was the song it was um let me look at the song it was um it was finally free right it was finally free when they started liking each other when they started like looking like they liked each other for me i could notice it in finally free um uh, this was like when they knew that they, there was something there finally free when they were going in between them i might just play a little clip um when they're going in between them and that's what i appreciated it stemmed from this deep love for both songwriting for music uh, a connection between losing their mom and I think that's what's so special and the chemistry was there throughout and they didn't even need the physical aspect of even like holding hands or something which I, I thought was so beautiful and such a clever way of doing it while still, make, whilst still making it age appropriate it was like you could see that they have chemistry you could see that they're close friends but they didn't even need to hold hands like you could just see it in the interactions um in the way that they were talking to each other talking about each other you could see it like point blank which i really appreciate um and so i'm curious to see what does happen um how do you delve into a ghost ghost and somebody being alive a relationship like that while still making it age appropriate while still making it fun while still um not losing the core which is the music i'm really interested to see what happens with that in season two another thing about season two that i'm excited to see is a more backstory on possibly alex's family background and how it must have been like um being someone who was um gay at um in the 90s and how that must have been like because we see, we know that his parents weren't too happy about that um and sort of like distance himself from his family um like maybe seeing more of that background and we know that reggie has this vivacious not vivacious we know that reggie has this bubbly personality but i wonder was it always like that um i'm curious to see like more of his family and what happened and it was so interesting right they talked about i i was the one, i don't know if i was the only one who picked this up but they talked about like the gentrification of la when um reggie talks about like how there was a house here and now there's just all these like sh like stores right there were like food stores and it was like we used to live here this was like our neighborhood and i thought it was really interesting because it's like yeah like that's gentrification like keeping people out of their homes moving them away um and like making the area more like expensive and stuff that was something random which i noticed and i didn't know if other people had noticed it too i was like interesting <laughs> i don't know if they did it on purpose but i was like very interesting um something else that i'm looking forward to seeing is julie and carrie's relationship and really seeing the the like what happened like what happened there they were really close friends so what was the cause of the um separation and, and caused carrie to be cruel um another thing that i do want to say is i really enjoyed the i really enjoyed dirty candy i thought that like wow i i think i think they got it so i'm curious this i'm interested to see um even that band how that develops within the show and i really i really do think the character that plays carrie savannah lee savannah lee may she ate it up like i'm sorry she ate it up when when she sang all eyes on me yeah ate 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 it up ate it up um uh, and also interested to see with willie and with willie and alex's relationship and like what happens with their friendship more there but we also don't know if willie will be in season two so we don't know what happens with that 
uh maybe he was banished even further talk like with um the character what's his what's his name what's his name what's his name what's his name oh and also something with Caleb's character like what happened to him like I I I, I love that the show because they did like the the time jump of like certain characters um i love that it just like opens a window and opens an invitation for us to get to know backstory and to see what happened with these characters it's such a clever thing to do because we're seeing them in the now but what happened to make them the people that we know today so with with caleb and willie's relationship like how did they become like acquaintanced how did willie start maybe like working for him being under his wing not having anybody in la so like like how did that come about and also just i feel like caleb just has a lot of like like maybe his backstory he was that he was like um unsuccessful in his career and now he just wanted to like do something and he was like he, he didn't live a fulfilled life so i'm very curious to see what happens guys one thing i forgot to say oh my goodness what's gonna happen with caleb and nick um, and what does Caleb being in Nick's body how much control does Nick have is he like totally possessed where he's gonna be like I don't even know what happened how will they figure out that Caleb is in Nick's body how will what will happen and Nick is inviting himself in so does this does this mean he wants to make himself more known and more like involved in Julie's life and like oh I really do like her like mm. also Nick was going to Julie's house before like before he met with Caleb he was already on his way to go to Julie's house so it's like what and what is that going to mean for Julie and Luke's relationship like what's that going to I have too many questions and that means we need to get a season two that means we demand a season two netflix 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 has this thing of just scrapping things when we need them and they can't do it with the show i i refuse like we will have to i will have to throw hands and i don't want like someone's gonna have to catch them um we don't want that to happen <laughs> Um, and I hope that they go on tour because y'all do know I'm best believe I'm buying tickets uh, because I love that the fact that they said that they wanted to turn this not only into like a musical band that's like from the series but an actual band and with the soundtrack guys the way I've been bopping to that soundtrack you don't even understand if you go into my Spotify and it says like if you go onto my Spotify I was listening to what was I listening to I was literally listening to them it's recently played Julian the Phantoms, Julian the Phantoms, and Chloe and Halle. Like, I'll be like that to <laughs> You don't understand. For the past few days, that's all I've been listening to. Like, all I've been listening to. Um, freaking hilarious. The dogs also, also, uh, barking. Um, that's so funny. Like, all of Julian the Phantoms, I've been listening to it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> the show was, like, a success. Was, number one, Kenny Ortega. And the vision that he has. And... I would say like when you create a world you sure know how to create a world um, I think he does a brilliant job like everything he touches he really does turn to gold like I'm not even joking and I, I think the way in which they just put his vision for how they were going to create these characters and the way that they jarred, um I think that like that just a, t a testament to who he is as a creative and who he is as a producer and somebody who just knows what he's doing when it comes to these things i really i love the the themes and the themes that were tackled in the show um i think i think like they were touching on so many different things that i thought were just so they were so needed and yet it was light-hearted yet it was a kid's show um and so i I absolutely I love the show I really it really did exceed my expectations like tremendously exceeded my expectations which is incredible um and yeah no I'm super excited for season two guys very very excited for season two I think it's gonna be incredible and yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching my video I hope that you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up please comment and please subscribe to my channel please tell me what your favorite character was um and what more you'd like to see from like season two and make sure like you go on twitter and like talk about the show and stuff um because if you don't get a season two i'd literally be devastated i'd literally be devastated like i would be um and i will see you guys next time Bye bye